What's going on? <clears throat> so everybody by now got a ticket about Ice Cube meeting up with Trump. I hope he wore a mask. Um, I'll never have dinner with the president. I'll never go, whatever. You know, some people call Cube a sellout. I'll say he's a great black entertainer for what he's accomplished as a businessman. Um, everybody in Hollywood sells out. So let's be real. And for crying out loud, in the situation, everybody looking for a bag. You know, it's not like they're not aware of him out there because he was on The Apprentice. Let's be real. He made for TV and what he did. So he's lined his pockets and his position with folks. Why would you go now <clears throat> to <clears throat> go see him when he had other opportunities in years past to do it? And you in situations to ask him, why now, Q? Um, timing is suspect. Of course, he's going to use you as a photo op. Probably he'll say today was a good day and he didn't bring an AK. You know, it's like he'll come with all kinds of rhymes and riddles to say. But I would tell Ice Cube, you're friends with Dr. Drake. You can make contact with Byron Allen. There are African-American athletes, entertainers, business people you can line pockets with to do something. You don't have to go to the plantation or, I mean, the White House to try to get a so-called message said. You get with someone like Byron Allen, who's worth quite a bit of money, and you have some resources with your big three league and you put some assets together, you can do stuff for the community. If you work together. He's not going to go to Trump and say, well, what do you think your platinum plan is? <laughs> Come on now. You're smarter than that. I hope you don't think that this stage and day that a guy who's made a habit of being racist and ba and has done things when he has a platform for make America white again, because that's what it means, is going to have an answer for you. Same person who always parts his lips to say he's done more for black folks, but yet he's still trying to he he's one of those kind of people that says, if I say this, I'll throw it out there. But let me see if I can kind of get a couple of them to believe me. And then let me help them out. Ice Cube wasting his time talking to the dead. This guy is so dumb not to wear a mask to protect people from the virus. Let alone to talk to a race of people who've been oppressed for over 400 years. You see, it makes no sense. Why don't you cut something that a song to speak about the climate, but to take yourself up there. And also before he goes in about Joe Biden, this, this, it wasn't Joe Biden's is not the person in a position to, and then things to do, but he has to work at it to get to that point. But you can't expect neither one of them to comprehend the struggle. We have to work together. If you go back and read Marcus Garvey, or if you watch Higher Learning, go back and understand the game. But you don't go and meet somebody who ain't going to have no interest in what you're about. He only takes your call because you Ice Cube who happens to be worth a hundred some million dollars and you're a great black entertainer. If your name is O'Shea Jackson, the bus driver, or O'Shea Jackson who works uh, restaurants or or uh, Walmart or different places, do you really think he's going to take your call and take heed to you? And what do you really think his platinum aluminum plus plan is? It ain't much. It ain't much. So I'm not going to call Q a sellout because he's in Hollywood. <clears throat> Pardon me. And they all do that. If you're fortunate enough and successful enough to give you some token awards, you get some residuals, and maybe you'll get a star on the walk of fame. And maybe they'll pat you on the head and say you're a good one. However, if you're smart, you're entrepreneur, and you pull up ship with fellow African Americans, and you create your own lane. You create a lane that they didn't see coming. But you don't go walking to the masses plantation asking questions like you're undercover journalist and expect to get answers, especially for somebody whose track record ain't exactly been that pristine when it comes to black folks. He ain't put nothing in the black community but hot air balloons. 
And all he's looking for is a new token. You see how he pimped Steve Harvey. He'll pimp Shaq. Got Charles Barkley talking sideways. And you saw how Tiger Woods is. And you see how he works. You see. It is not there. You have to do it together. But you sure as heck ain't getting no straight answers from him. You know. So all it does is like, well, maybe he'll, Trump will say, I got my good one there. Good ice cube. Good cube. And that's all it ends up being. That's why people be looking at cube sideways, cross-eyed, and cray-cray. And really ask yourself, what was the accomplished thing in the matter of the meeting? Because platinum is aluminum tin for you with this turkey. Trump can't even take care of himself, let alone, and he sure don't care about no black folks. You don't walk around with no mega hat on. That alone is racially offensive, considering the black folks that built this country. Got stepped on, spit on, killed, lynched, mocked. Everything you can think of, all the laws created. And you had that in one of your songs back in the day. So why are you stepping to fetching the leftovers for some slogan that Trump can't possibly deliver for someone who claims to have done so much for the African-American race? Hmm. Hit the like, subscribe. Let's discuss this. I welcome comments on this. Hit the like, subscribe. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another, and I'm going to tell you something. Black entertainers are important. However, if you're talking loud and ain't saying nothing, I got to turn you off.